Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Got some live baits. So we're gonna run offshore or maybe troll around the reef. See what we can catch with some live bait. Maybe find some mahi or go down deep. Tilefish or some little inshore and go deep for a grouper or something like that. So uh, stay tuned. On our way out, guys, I noticed uh, a net got tangled in this buoy. It's holding some grass and there's some bait fish under it. See this bad boy? Hate to run that over. All right, guys, we've seen some birds. Put on some lines real quick. Got some fish on. I think little bar jacks. But, uh, bar jacks in here, so yeah. First time of life we've had. Run on top, big, big jack or a mahi, I can Put the mahi in Guys, got another fish on. I don't think it's a mahi. I think you're over. I think so. There you go. Switch. Probably about two or three weeks old. Huh? All right, I go. Refishing. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. These bar jacks are like devouring, like hitting our teaser like crazy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I think we might have them on that one. On uh, the top one and this one. Bar Jack. You want to keep them? Um, I think there's one on that one, so I can save that one, yeah. Hey guys, we trolled this weed line for a little bit, but uh, some small dolphin and some jacks. So we're gonna run out, see if we can find a little more bird activity, get on some better mahi. Take a look around. There's been a whole lot we've seen just yet, but uh, never know to look, I guess, right? Yeah, it's funny how them triple tail just lay their side like that. All right guys, we looked around for a little bit. No luck on the mahi. Cruising back in, I'm gonna try a, a new deep drop spot. About 610 feet of water. And uh, we got some of those cigar minnows that we caught, some of the dead ones. We're gonna see how those do. Of course, we got some cut bait, some squid. We're gonna see if they're chewing in this depth and if they like uh, these baits. Curious what the underwater camera shows. I think we're pretty exciting. All 
All right, guys, I think we got one on. Good tile fish. It's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. You want to go right back down here and keep drifting? Or? Yeah, we can. I think we're just kind of getting into a good area. So you had that bottom one. What was that one? What's that? That bottom one was a. Uh... squid and uh, that crab bait. All right, guys. First tile fish of the day. All right, guys. Drift is slower today. We can go right back down. Um, a lot slower it feels like than the other days, maybe a mile an hour, mile and a quarter. Like it was two and a half, maybe three when we first started this, you know, about a week ago. So it's pretty cool. Uh, should be a little easier today, which is nice. So we're gonna keep on with our drift and uh, see what else we pull up. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm not sure what, but we got something. Um, see something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Another yellow, yellow grouper. Yellow, yellow grouper. Yeah, they were bait, cleaned so. off almost. Uh -huh. Like he's hooked twice almost. He is. Yeah. Yellow edge grouper. Yep. Okay. Back down we go. Yellow Edge Grouper. All right, guys, a little bit of a lull. We switched rigs because I think our other rig was uh, getting a little beat up, a little squirrely. It's done good. Uh, 330 feet. Yeah, we're really taking that, maybe. Yeah. Is that full speed or partial? Oh. I'm just curious. Yeah, I heard people burning him off. I was thinking we could keep it backed off a little. All right, see color. Yeah. Uh, looks like it. Yeah. Oh no! Shoot, quick, get a net, 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 net. Oh my gosh! Did we lose our bait? 
Oh yeah, they lost our first one at the boat. It was a hoss too. Yeah, nice fish. He turned tail and went back down. Yeah, too bad we're getting the yellow edge ones fall off and the big ones stay on, but I guess that's fishing, huh? That was a big boy too, he was over 10. I mean, he was working on that pretty good. I don't know. Uh, where was he hooked at when he came up? Could you tell? Somewhere in the mouth. It was real soft. If he, hit he didn't get the corner of the mouth. Not very, he didn't hook very good wherever it hooked. I was almost in the boat and I got away. Swam back 500 feet down to the bottom. A victory, victory swim all the way to the bottom. Say so he's telling his buddies. We'll, all, all, <laughs> we'll always remember this is the day we almost caught. Yeah. Buddy, hey, go on out there. They can't get you in the boat anyhow. You're just say, don't worry about it. Somebody used for that. Dude, this is like a valley here, right? Yeah, you get the bite over here. Dang, this. Let me get that picture with it. But, uh, I think that just like a rig sank to the bottom and he ate it, or you think. Uh, That's kind of crazy, yeah. I've never seen that before. Not that light of line. You see, you thought it was a Ballyhoo rig? Yeah, it had like the wire that you would twist over a Ballyhoo. It must have. There ain't no way he'd come up without a Ballyhoo rig, is it? Yeah. Alright guys, we had a fun day on the water, good long day, did a good variety of fishing, we uh, trolled for mahi, deep drop for tiles, um, and then drifted the reef for grouper. I still think it's a good way to catch fish, I think we'll be able to find some there, didn't find any today, but uh, we're going to see if we can come up with some other ways to use a live bait on the reef and see if we can't catch us a big snapper or a grouper. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, just comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.